Okay, this one. Um, people are gonna probably think I'm hella weird. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special episode where I react to my subscribers' photos in my Discord community. If you're not um, joined on that Discord server, um, the link is in the description below. We would love to have you. The water is fine, so come on in. Uh, we talk about photography every single day. We share photos and we talk about like different other tips. Um, I think the member count is like actually near. 1800 at the time of this recording I, I i guess i could check like right behind me but it's insane that there's so many people like joining in on this and in this very video i'm gonna be reacting and reviewing maybe giving some advice on some of the photos that my subscribers have given because in december i gave them a showcase challenge to take photos that exhibit a minimalist composition with a pop of color and some people really showed up so without further ado uh let's get right into it Woo! All right, first one. Uh, this is by hrn.k. Uh, I don't know how to like say that without spelling it out, but this photo obviously expresses uh, negative space very well. Uh, it has a point of interest, which is like smack dab in the middle of the frame. I feel like if, um, based off of like uh, some of the criteria that like I mentioned in my minimalism video, that would like suffice. But again, like the thing that like um, I look out for personally is texture. And it's really hard to take pictures of uh, that express minimalist compositions with waves or the ocean when there is like waves and ripples in the water because the texture starts to starts to like clash and becomes like its own character or its own element in a way with many elements in it. Uh, that's a really bad explanation, but um, good job expressing like this um negative space but again like with waves and ripples like it's hard to uh get that mm, get that nice spice that nice flair in uh minimalist photos that i personally enjoy this photo by photographs by joseph is also a good uh exhibition of negative space the color palette is also really good it's nice and soft you got like the tail ends of like blue hour um the sky's lit up you have nice texture in the sky and the clouds are soft enough like the edges aren't like harsh where it like kind of like comes at you like through the photo one thing that i would like say is to like have a point of interest um there is obviously like nothing like in the shadows which i like completely like i like you know like really crushed shadows or no shadow details like if it's not necessary uh sky's good but there is no like point of interest where it's just kind of like one blank slate and i guess like that could work in like some scenarios but like in this one uh, I would suggest like having that um, to enhance the photo. All right, this photo by not underscore rubber toes. The cat one, honestly, like even though it's like such a like simple photo, I like it a lot because like you don't see the cat's face, so like it kind of like plays into that whole thing about like truncation and um, or not not necessarily truncation, but like kind of like that mysteriousness of like not having a face, e even for like animals, like it works. So. Um, the blank wall negative space works. Um, it even like kind of like goes into the white fur of the cat. So there's like nice seamless transition there. And then you get like nice splotches of like orange and black, like in the other parts of the fur. But not not gonna lie, it's it's not a bad photo. It's not that bad. Uh moving on. Oh my god. Okay, when I saw this photo come out, I was like, how what is this photo? This photo is by this is RCF and um wow perfect this is like exactly what the challenge was minimalism with a pop of color and i when i first saw this photo i i don't know why but i thought the figures down below were nuns with colorful nun outfits and they're just looking down but it's mannequins with t-shirts without the head if you were wondering if you also thought it was nuns but this is nice this is a great photo magnificent job the the color palette is so pastel -y. it's it's not like uh, obtrusive it's not like in your face this is like a great minimalist composition you even have like, oh geez, again like color palette is like insane the only like small critique and this is just being like really nitpicky is um the uh, gradient in the sky uh, it would be great if it was like kind of like, evened out because uh, if there's a like a little bit of a gradient then like there's like more colors than there should be uh, for like i don't know the, the the perfect thing that i personally would be looking for but regardless of the facts um 
it, this is a magnificent photo. I love this one. This photo is by N. Aslam or a slam. This is a good exhibition of photographing like a minimalist composition with water in it. So the reason why I feel like this one works really well is because it kind of like goes into the texture of the beach and the beach sand is also not that abrasive or not that busy. So yeah, wave texture is not, or the ocean texture is not like smooth, but neither is the beach, but it kind of like blends in and like goes in together as like one whole element. Uh, the people in the water, I think, are they playing? Oh, they're playing volleyball. Oh, that's sick. Sky is great too. The color palette is fantastic. I really like this a lot. Again, like if there was a, if you guys like knew how to like flatten out light, this would be an even like, you know, go up to that next level. But again, fantastic photo. I really do like this one. I actually met this dude in person when I was getting coffee. I, I, I think I'm like thinking about the right person, but uh, he was one of the people that like, recognize me in public and like again like it's super surprising because i always wear a hat and a mask um so yeah that was cool uh, i think it's like always cool running into you guys like in the streets um yeah like don't be afraid to say what's up uh i, I can't promise you that i'll have a full-blown conversation with you because i'm probably always doing something but um it's always nice to say hi to you guys so yeah if you ever see me just say what's up and i'll say what's up back um but this photo fantastico for this jacob did a really good job uh three points of interest or like one point of interest as a, as a collective group of the deer i think that's deer yeah that's deer sky gradient sky color uh softness is perfect i would say that this is a great example of minimalist composition with a pop of color i feel like the pop of color would be that uh lower half of the sky uh yeah really nice this next submission is by asgar.snapsxo this photo i wouldn't say it's that minimalistic the color palette though is fantastic uh, I love the softness of the skin tone, the softness of the sky with a pop of like the red. I, is that plastic or gel or something like that? But I like it very much. I feel like you could have gotten away with this photo had the uh, frame been a little bit wider or a little bit bigger in the sky background uh, to allow more negative spacing because I feel like your color palette is like fine enough to suffice for the other criteria but the negative space isn't uh there yet so if you know how to do it in photoshop you can learn how to expand the background it's actually not that hard unless like your background is a little bit more complex with more textures i can see some like cloud pattern in the back so it could possibly be a little bit um difficult to do but uh we'll see you know uh or you'll see if you if you test it out in your uh photoshop or uh, experiment but yeah i would say this is a good photo but not really minimalist in terms of composition and this photo is sick the only critique or, or some critiques that i would give is there's like brick i don't know what those things are like are popping up from the are those like pillar wooden pillars or something like that if those wooden pillars were i think uh photoshopped out clone stamped out it would have been better uh the the light in the background and mixed with the clouds in the bottom half if you learn how to flatten that out just a little bit it'd be cool but temperature i think i might have like brought it down just a little bit it looks a little bit too warm in this specific case um but yeah i feel like the color and the light flatness is something that you can work on for sure for sure um this photo is awesome he even like threw in like a little bit of a white border-esque uh, thing to like enhance that minimalist vibe and uh, that's what i do on my personal instagram feed uh this is a great example of everything that i asked for uh I, is that like a electric cable okay uh, I, don't, I don't even know what to name it but I, it's, it's it's good i how did you even find this with only like one single electric cable going around it wait is this even electric cable or is this a clothesline hanger huh interesting but it's really interesting how you only got one string in it and i like that i like that if it was two strings it might have been a little bit too busy but one string is great you got the nice color palette going on there's i think there's a little bit of vignetting on the left side and the top end but uh, I guess like if you like got rid of that, that would have been like perfect. But honestly, super cool. You got the nice pop of color from what I can only assume to be golden hour light on uh, whatever that thing is. Sky color and flatness. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Good job, man. Our next one is by Alan Moments. I also met this guy um, personally through a mutual friend, Nathan, and uh, really talented photographer. He shoots a lot. So I, I really encourage a lot of the people who watch this to shoot more than you think you should because uh shooting by volume is like a great way to get better at photography of course uh this isn't exactly minimal because like uh i, I don't know 
the the bottom half does express like some uh, negative space but the texture is kind of like all over the place where like yeah you could tell that it's like it's a reflective puddle um but it's not smooth enough for it to be like calming or opening the color palette is nice um but the texture it, it's not like jiving with me well especially like in the middle like where it's kind of like reflections in the dark like you just see like non-reflected or semi-reflected puddling that's not a word but um yeah i would either get rid of that part but still a good photo just i don't know just just not like bringing the whole like minimalist composition uh, vibe that i was going for all right this next one the ferris wheel uh this is by ray share r-a-y-c-h-e-r-r -R. this is a great great minimalist composition you cut the ferris wheel in half you got a lot of negative space in the sky you got nice cloud patterns going on as well if you were to again i said this like a million times now um but if you were to flatten the light just a little bit bring the white point down just a little bit it would be fantastic color palette is on point um i love how you truncate it now this is a correct example of like truncation where like you don't show the whole ferris wheel but showing half of it like you can only assume that it is one um so great use of composition here nine out of ten nine and a half out of ten great job uh this photo is great in terms of color palette one of my favorites like out of like all the um submissions uh the building is super soft nice and pastel-y the only thing that i wish you did you have great negative space up top but i wish you either took this photo in horizontal or or in landscape orientation or ex expanded the background because it's a little bit too tight around the size of the building where it feels like it's like suffocating or constricting rather it's not suffocating that's a little, little bit of a strong word but uh it's a little bit too constricting on the side so if you were to like extend the background or take this picture in landscape orientation you would have nailed it so that's my only critique but color palette is fantastic texture is fantastic this pillar photo is really good in terms of truncation a little bit of abstraction as well uh and color palette fantastic all throughout the lighting is like nice and flat enough to uh, exhibit that my only concern or not concern my only critique would be that the lighting and shading of everything is a little bit like too much going on like that that seems to be like its own little like elemental like problem uh so if this were all like evenly lit or maybe like only like or lesser grades of shading then it would have been perfect the pillar on the right is awesome the pillars on the left are also awesome too but together it's like a little bit too much going on and i think there's like a door frame in the back too if you were to photoshop that out and to just continue the the back wall that would have been a great move as well to kind of just like eliminate um things going on in the background but still a fantastic photo really nice abstraction and truncation for sure this is fantastic great black and white photo uh this is a great example of flattened light in the fog i guess like fog kind of already defaults towards flattened light anyways but you have a nice negative space nice point of interest in the bottom half of the photo and the details going on in the background of the subject is not distracting enough to pull your attention away from the person down below so i would say you nailed this fantastic thing a lot of my subscribers take vertical photos so i wonder what's the uh common thing about that i wonder if it's like just for instagram real estate or it just coincidence but um yeah fantastic photo i really like it a lot all right i just checked the timestamp on my camera and i think we're at like 21 minutes now i have no idea how long this video is like after the final edit but i'm gonna post a lot of the pictures like uh that i really liked uh, in this like upcoming slideshow but thank you guys again for submitting your work into this december showcase i'm going to be giving you guys another challenge in the discord chat uh, for the january showcase so if you want to join in on that and join the community that like we're growing the link is down below uh guys and girls thank you guys so much for like watching through this hopefully you guys learned a thing or two again i just want to preface that this is not even like preface anymore but like just saying that like this is purely my opinion and uh you could do your photography however way you want there is not one way one correct way to do this so go ahead shoot to your heart's content edit to your heart's content and um grow in whatever direction that you choose um yeah that's all i can say subscribe like this video comment down below about what you thought about my subscribers videos i mean not my subscribers but like, oh, i guess like my subscribers what am i what am i talking about but your friends kind of um about their photos and uh i guess i will see you guys in the next video 
Uh, yeah. Peace.